Before we start the video, I just want to say that this is not a full review. We're not going to be going over a lot of specs and all different types of details about the product. We're going to be looking at ways that I've used this Obspot Air since I've received them for review. Now I absolutely love these cameras. I love all types of cameras, but these cameras have allowed me to get really creative in my shooting. So let's get into it. How you doing guys? Welcome to this video. And today we are going to talk about the Obspot Tail Air. At the moment we are in London, so you can see we've got Tower Bridge just down there. The area which I picked to choose and to do this footage is, yeah, it's just really nice. I mean, if you're a tourist and you come down here, there's a lot to see around here. Me personally, I don't like to come down here too much, but just have a quick look around so you can see what's going on. Lots of uh, old buildings, history, some new mixed with new buildings as well. So it's great for tourists. Let's go into some footage now so you can see exactly what it can do. We're looking at this from the perspective that it's not a cinema camera. We are looking at it from the perspective that it's a content creation camera. So let's get into it. As much as I love cinema cameras, I do find a need to have content creation cameras as well. Cameras that I can take anywhere and can do anything. When doing events and we've got a lot of areas to cover, we have to be ready for anything. We have cameras set up for talking head interviews to interview guests. We also have cameras set up for events that are happening during the day and these all have to be captured and we don't just want to have one single camera. The more cameras you have, the more areas you can cover. Having the Obspot tail airs as part of my arsenal is absolutely amazing. I can control the units wirelessly, whether recording or PTZ for position, whether I'm using a PC, iOS device, an Android, any device I like. And hiding them out of sight is absolutely perfect. No tripod needed. This allows me to wirelessly monitor and control and record and I can just stick them out of sight and just record a whole load of footage. This footage can then be mixed in with some of the other cameras that we have. It's great to have these always recording so they can do your fill-in shots. The real strength lies in their content creation because you can use these as a full multicam studio with no wires or you can connect these over vast amounts of different types of networks but my favourite is NDI. When we're creating products I can talk to people live and ask what your opinions are on the products that we're making so we can make sure we're delivering the best product for everybody. I love taking these into the studio for creating crazy little shows for clients. There's so much you can do with these. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Another one of my favorite use cases is doing multicam interviews. When I'm working with other YouTubers or collaborators, it's just amazing that I can fit three cameras and a monitor in one simple little case because you can never be sure where you're gonna be interviewing someone. It's great just to have a little setup. Mine is a bit messy here, but you can always go for a clean wireless setup. I've taken these abroad to do interviews as you would have seen in the Eclipse video and just having a multi-cam setup that can fit on a table was just worth its weight in gold. And with all the crazy accessories that Obspot have, you can do crazy shots like this. So I just want to go over a few accessories now, but before we do that, I just want to say that since Obspot sent me these tail airs and all of these accessories, and I said it in my first video that this is going to change the way that I create. When we're creating products, there's so much work that goes into it, that creating videos and taking multicam systems, you know, abroad and to different towns and stuff can get a bit, you know, it gets a bit long because you've got to carry tripods and all that kind of stuff. And being able to shoot with these has been absolutely amazing. And Obspot have continuously been updating the software and the accessory line. Just going to go over a few basic specs, nothing deep, but just to show you, you know, what you can do with this stuff. So we've got the Obspot tail air, and this is a 4K camera, does up to 4K 30, uh, 1080p 60. We've got a 3.5 audio jack there. So this means that I can use it with any microphone that connects to my DSLR cameras or mirrorless or cinema cameras. We've got a micro HDMI here, so I can connect it to a monitor. We've got the SD card input here. And on the back, we've got USB-C charging and we've got the power button. So it's a very simple device. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the um, connection styles now and the features which you can do with this. So first of all, everything can be done wirelessly. Whether you're streaming to YouTube, Facebook, all that kind of stuff, everything can be done wirelessly. You can do it on iOS, Android, you can do it with your Mac. And on the Mac or PC, you can actually do a multi-cam view now wirelessly. So that is fantastic if you're controlling more than one camera. The Android version and the iOS version is gonna come soon as well. So you can do multi-cam viewing, switching all from your device here. Record here, you can change the settings, output, the uh, frame rates, all that kind of stuff, white balance. Everything can be done manually on this on the app. You do need the app to control the Obspot tail air if you want to do that kind of stuff, but everything can be done manually, which is absolutely fantastic. If you're using the Obspot tail air with other cameras or you want to you know, control your exposure manually, you can also get ND filters and they come in four different strengths. So these just clip onto the front magnetically. I think you're supposed to go the other way around. And then you can also get a counterbalance which goes on the back as well, which will balance out your gimbal. And that just sticks on the back. And having PTZ on the camera is just absolutely fantastic for changing your position or anything else you wanna change whilst you're using the Obsport tail air. I showed you the 360 charging base. So this is just a magnetic charging base. When you put it on, it connects to the pogo pins and will charge your device. It has two batteries, one goes in here, and here's another one which is out, and that will just slide in, and that goes in there. And from there you can do your 360 whilst charging. It also has quarter 20 on the bottom, so you can mount it on a pole, just like you would do with the Obspot. Or you can just leave it on the side, you know, and it will sit down on the base nicely. Because it's magnetic, it won't fall off if you, you know, twist it. Very nice. The batteries in the 360 charging base can also be charged with the dock here as well. So you can charge multiple batteries at once and it will just allow you to run your Obsbot tail air for very long periods of time without you know, needing a charger. You can charge these via USB-C. So if you've got a power bank or wall outlet, you can charge these as well at the same time whilst using them. We also have the remote control, which can control up to three Obsbot tail airs. From here, you can do the tracking and changing position 
animal tracking, human tracking, recording, all sorts of stuff. You can even turn your Obspot Air off and on. And this is what you saw me using at the beginning of the video. You can connect to the Obspot Tail Air via Wi-Fi, as I've done here, or you can use the built-in hotspot of the Obspot Tail Air as well. So you don't need any extra boxes, anything to connect it. If you want to connect to three different devices or use NDI for streaming or anything like that, then I would suggest you get like a tiny little router, which is a Wi-Fi 6 router, then you can connect them both wirelessly. Or if you have the Obspot Power Over Ethernet adapter, that's the Obspot Power Over Ethernet adapter. You plug in your USB-C to charge your Obspot, plug in the Ethernet cable. This would go straight into the back of the router. And then the other USB-C side would go straight into the back of the Obspot. And then you have power over Ethernet and you can control the device and do all sorts of stuff what you'd wanna do. Let's move that over there. And you can control the device, absolutely fantastic. The Obspot also comes in this carry case. So if you're carrying it abroad or, you know, to different shows or whatever, you can use the carry case, which it comes with. Absolutely fantastic. I am in love with these devices here. They make my life so easy. I can create all types of different shows and, you know, capture content and footage as I showed you in this video. I'll leave a link to the website down below. And yeah, this is gonna be, you know, my kit from now on. So thank you Obspot for sending me these devices and allowing me to show people how versatile they really are. So that's it guys, that's the end of the video and I hope you really enjoyed this. Check out the Obspot Air, there's a lot of videos online and a lot of people doing tutorials and walkthroughs and controls and I will be back soon because the fun has only just begun.